G'day guys, how's it going? Today we have another Bakugan opening here, definitely going to be really fun. Uh, just been seeing a lot of Bakugan on clearance, a lot of Bakugan on sale, and you know, it's not going to always happen. It happens from time to time, so really try to be patient. I really don't recommend you pay retail for anything honestly i mean it's always good to be frugal and in this particular case i waited and we have sales we got like really cheap prices for these uh they were all discounted so i'm very happy to have paid that kind of price for it uh but yeah we have a lot of bakugan here to open up uh really interesting ones as well i actually have my first bakugan decker at least uh for this you know new era i guess you know the whole battle planet era like obviously when i had uh the old original bakugan battle brawlers uh i did have one decker as well so to actually get my first decker here in this new era is definitely really fun because we get this giant uh baku core as well um so that's really cool because it's also magnetic you know um but we have some ability cards uh which is fantastic to see because i've been seeing a lot of um, or rather, I've been seeing a lack of ability cards from Bakugan, which is something I am not pleased about. Uh, but with that being said, I'm really excited to open this up. But we also have over here these two products, which is very unique. This is known as uh, the world's coolest, which is essentially just a keychain with uh, Bakugan. That's definitely fantastic. So this one is going to be really interesting to open up. It's simply just keychains. I mean, you get here Fangzor and you get here Teutonium. But that's really it about them. I mean, there's nothing else to really say about these ones. It's just uh, a keychain product, you know. So really fun and can't wait to open that up. But uh, with that being said, I am just going to get a pair of scissors because these ones I didn't realize were actually like in these uh, difficult packs here. Again, Bakugan really needs to improve on their packaging. This seems really wasteful in terms of space, but I mean, I guess if it attracts people's attention, that's all that matters, right? Uh, in this case, though, I think this is actually a fantastic design. There's not wasted space. There's no elevation of cardboard or anything, except for what's necessary to actually get the back gun going. This is fantastic design. So if this is what they're going with, that's a fantastic step ahead of things. But uh, I'm not a fan of like those big battle packs that have like five Bakugan and you just get like this giant box which has so much empty space it's just really not good but with that being said this is definitely a really fantastic way of going about things so uh, I'll be right back and uh, we're just gonna get some of these opened up all right so I got my pair of scissors so we're just simply gonna cut it open really I mean it's just a straight up line of uh, plastic here now I really don't think this product is particularly good in terms of packaging because you're expecting a younger audience to be buying this so why would you put it in this kind of packaging where you could actually hurt people who might not necessarily be um, suited towards uh, opening these kinds of products so I definitely recommend uh, adult supervision if you were not able to open this up because this could be quite dangerous but there's nothing else to it there's no ability cards or anything so you are paying quite a lot for this though I wouldn't say this is necessarily the most expensive thing um, to like this though I mean the way it is uh, I don't really understand this whole notch here that you see really feels weird um, but you do get this here so you can actually just hang your back gun which is definitely fantastic I really like that um, yeah I honestly don't know how to open this because are we still using magnets I'm not sure I mean I could pry that out by myself but can this open with a magnet um, I have no idea maybe no doesn't seem so so I really have no clue how to actually open this up. Is this all manual open? I'm not too sure, honestly. I'm really unsure of this. But I'm not going to try and pry it open. We'll try to figure it out later on. Uh, for now, I'm just going to open up this. And uh, we'll see what's, 
what else we can actually do here. So, just going to take that out and hopefully I can get this out as well. Oh yeah. The rest is all just empty packaging, so it's honestly quite wasteful. But uh, with that being said, let's just see what else we can do here. So I'm really hoping that uh, once we open up this one and get the back of cores out, the magnets will open these up. But for now, we'll just leave them as is. Uh, the only thing I'll say about this is that as keychains, they definitely are great to kind of like exude your passion towards other people so that people actually know that you like Bakugan. But aside from that, um, because you can't actually play with them, it won't be uh, the greatest thing for you. So it might not be the product for everyone, but I bought it anyway because it was so affordable. It's a bit of a niche that I think uh, is, I don't know, pretty nice here. I like how this also goes all the way to the back. It's a great way of saving up on packaging. So uh, definitely love this packaging here. It's great. It really is a good direction. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. This is amazing. I love it. This here is, uh, what's its name? Mega Slugger. I mean, that is awesome. A Bakugan Decker. I mean, I really can't complain about that. I find it weird that it's in this odd shape. I mean, it could actually just be round like a regular Bakugan Decker, but, you know, I'm not complaining. Bakugan Decker are just much rarer products, and you don't see them too often, so to even be able to get one, I'm really happy about Looks like we get one card, and that is Slugger himself. You also get here a gate card, so I was mistaken. I thought there was more ability cards, I guess not. But we have here our giant uh, back core. I'm hoping this is Magnet, I really hope it is. Uh, but it's Mega Slugger, you know? Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to work in actual gameplay because I do know how to play the game itself, I know the rules. So seeing this is definitely a, quite a surprise. We have two backer cores for our smaller backer guard. Um, so that's definitely really nice there as well. Uh, but yeah, let's see. This here, I believe, is also Slugger, but I don't know, I'm not too sure itself. But either way, we'll just put this aside because it seems like it is Slugger. Just a bigger version of it, which is uh, something I am uh, definitely all about, you know, that's fantastic. There you go, 700 B power, so it's definitely different here. I'm surprised, where's the other card for the for this one here, you know? There's nothing else in the packaging, that's for sure. But uh, nevertheless, this is something I am definitely really happy about. It's really awesome, looks great. And I think it is just a smaller version of Slugger himself. So if anything, uh, yeah, if anything, it's just uh, something that you would probably have as a novelty because it's a Decker. You can't really play with it, so you can just play with the little one instead. You can't really roll it, but say, you know, what can you really expect, yeah? But really easy to close up as well. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that, the shape of it. And then you look at this one here. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, the way it opens up doesn't really look too amazing, but uh, when it's closed up, yeah, it looks really cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, it's, it's really awesome. Um, yeah. So close it up like that and let it be like so a little loose but yeah looks nice actually looks really nice so oh look at that that's so awesome i mean to design it in such a big form you'd think it's easier but it, i don't know it might actually be harder because you have to print the parts and have it in such precise um conformities that's would allow it to actually like close up the way it is without having any issue, you know? And I feel like this is something that's easier to accomplish with, uh, this would be something that's easier to accomplish if you were looking at a uh, smaller back gun, to be honest, rather than a Decker. So I love it, absolutely love it. That's fantastic. I mean, that looks really cool. But now let's try and open up this here. All right, so, I have no idea how to open this up. Can this even open up? Honestly, can this even open up? 
I mean, I can pry the head open, but I can't get anything else open. So, with that being said, what am I supposed to do here? Is it just an unlocking mechanism? I mean, it seems like I could just pry this. Oh, wow, that's an interesting way of doing things. That is interesting. Wow. So, this is Tertonium. That's fantastic. So I'll give you guys a nice close-up of this. That's fantastic. That's absolutely amazing. And this one, all you have to do is take your finger, put this in your nails, pull it out, and it opens up. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, that's a fangzor. All right, like that's your standard fangzor. But the way it looks, I mean, that's amazing. There's no beep house. Obviously, you can't play with it anyway, but it's just nice to have this as a keychain, you know, on your actual product itself, uh, on your keys, on anything, on your backpack. It's really nice. This is awesome. I love it. I'm like, really loving it. I mean, this is amazing, you know. Seriously, you can just hang it on your backpack. Like, that looks really awesome. Yeah, this is, this is cool. It's light as well. So, you know, there's like no magnets whatsoever in there. So... I can see why it's not as expensive, definitely not heavy, and doesn't require any of the magnetic mechanism, but aside from that, uh, it's definitely very well designed, that's for sure. It's very, very well designed. Um, it's like an alternate form of a Bakugan. I'm impressed, really impressed with this. So. Yeah, it's definitely nice, but this one, I have no idea how you're actually going to like roll that. I mean, it's unrollable. You can't roll it. To, well, that's, maybe I'm proven wrong by that, but you, to actually get this onto the magnet when you're rolling in a real game, I mean, there's no way that's going to happen. Maybe the big one's actually for the purpose of that, you know? Maybe it will actually open up like that, but it still seems a little bit weird and convoluted but uh that being said i still had fun with this this is still really amazing i love these keychains decker unique shapes i mean what else is there to say this is an amazing thing that bakugan has been doing i love the creativity uh love the things that they're actually pushing the innovation and the designs of everything you know i, I love that they're not so closed-minded with things they're open to trying out all these crazy designs it seems almost ridiculous but it works it just really works even using the mechanism that doesn't require metal but doing it in a keychain form i just love it i really love it so it's a really great direction that they're going in the only thing i worry about is uh the fact that we are not getting as much support for the actual TCG itself and it's turning back into more of that whole you know having the three back gun rolling and battling like that which I get it works for the target audience but as someone who is a TCG player I would have liked to see a lot more come out of this uh, but with that being said uh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you all next time.